Hi, this is Jessica with ABC Paints, and today we're going to be painting this lamp base with some American Paint Company products. Um, I've got the Vixen color out today, and I want to finish it with some clear wax and a little bit of our black wax. So come along and see what I create. I picked up this lamp base from the thrift store. Um, it was for $9.99, so I figured, you know what, it's has a cool has cool detail to it. Let's see what we can do with it. Mm. The color that we're using today is Vixen. It's a very pretty color. And I have my brush. It's been sitting in water just to loosen the bristles. You don't want it dripping wet. And we're just going to start going to town here. So we're just going to cover this whole base with paint. Okay. I was looking for a lamp to go in my living room just to add a little bit of glow at night. Nothing too big. And when I saw this project, this lamp base, I knew I had to take it home with me. I actually want to do some distressing so that some of this gold comes through. Um, I have gold accents in my living room. I actually painted the feet of my piano with some of our metallic gold. So it would be nice if we could just see just little pops of gold come through this when we do our distressing, but we'll see how that goes when we get to that, when we get to that step. So the three basic steps with American Paint Company are paint, distress, and seal. So this is the first step. And I love the APC goes on any kind of surface. So it can go on um, like lamp bases, brass, um, ceramic, terracotta, clay, metal, cement, many surfaces. <laughs> mm. And this paint goes a long ways. I was going to put it into a separate dish just to see how many teaspoons of paint this would cover. But we will still, we started with a full pot, so I'm sure we'll have lots left when we're done. The awesome thing about American Paint Company being a clay-based paint is that you don't have to do all the sanding and the priming um, like you would with typical latex-based paints. So that is an awesome feature. It saves a lot of time in your prep. Just opening a can and starting to paint. Okay, we got the first layer on and I'm just going to speed up the drying with a blow dryer. So we used about three layers of Vixen paint on this base. And if you look at this pot of paint, there is barely any missing. So it's still very full. So the paint, this little pot of paint can do a lot of projects. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it some distressing and we're going to be using a damp cloth. And we're just gonna lightly go around the surface and see if we can get some of that gold to pop up. So basically, I just take the cloth 
dip it into some water. You don't want it dripping, just nice and damp. And then I'm just gonna wrap it around my finger and then just lightly go around the raised areas of this base. Now the thing to remember, especially when we're doing um, a slippery surface, we painted on this bottom um, surface, is that a lot might come off at a time. And so if you think that you have taken too much off, we can just go back and add some more paint when we're done. So just keep that in mind if you are wet distressing a slippery surface. And again, distressing is my favorite part. It's just when the piece, I feel like the piece comes alive when you do it. <laughs> and there's lots of good detail on here. Lots of lines, lots of bumps. And then just as you go along, you're just moving your, your cloth. Like you don't want to keep in this area distressing, so you can just keep moving along. And then if it's dry here, just dip, bring it out. And again, we're just working with the piece until we get the look that we like. If we think we've taken too much off, it's so easy to touch up with the paint again. And I love that there's no right or wrong way. You are the creator, and if you like it, that's all that matters. That's the beauty of being a creator. Paint Company is awesome for allowing you just to create. You can leave it solid, you can add distressing. It's not just a one tight paint, there's many, many things you can do with the APC. will have this lamp in their home. <laughs> you cannot go get this at the store. I love that about APC is I can have unique pieces that no one else will have. Match to my style. Okay, so for this part, we're going to seal. So we painted, we distressed, and now we're sealing it. And we're gonna be using the um, APC wax. 
And the first thing that I want to do, I want to use black and I want to use clear. So the first thing that we're going to do is put clear wax on the piece. And if you're doing like a color, I always try to get it on a dish because I don't want to put the, the pigment of the paint into the wax. So a clean cloth. And we're going to kind of do it the same way that we did the wet distressing. I'll just dip my rag into the clear wax and we're just going to go over the whole surface nice and light, rubbing the wax into the clay. So the color's going to pop nicely. And we're just going to lightly put it over. Make sure we get into all the little cracks. Just brings the dull finish to a nice pop, great color. And then again, you don't want any of the wax to stay. If you want to make sure it all gets into the clay, you don't want any clumps or bumps because that will harden as a bump on your piece. You just have to make sure you work the wax into the clay. If you're doing a bigger project, um, the wax brushes are amazing for um, applying the wax. And you, you can also use a wax brush on this. Um, the wax brushes that we use come in two different sizes, a small and a large. So the small wax brush actually would work really good for this too, but today we just got out the cloth. So. Steps with wax are on, off, buff. So we're applying it right now. And then, so that's the on part. The off is when you just take a cloth over it and just make, making sure that it's really into the clay and it's not just sitting on the top. And then buffing it is what hardens it, helps harden it, give it a finish. The wax is going to take a bit to cure. The best time is a month, but at least a week it needs to sit without anybody touching it. Okay, isn't that pretty? I love it. So what we did is we put a base of the clear wax on the bottom, and now I'm going to start adding the black wax to it. Now the thing, if you, if you put too much black wax on a piece, it's a good idea to put a base down first. Okay, so you, we used the clear wax base on this lamp. If you were doing a bigger project, you could also use the top coat and then you can apply the wax on top of the top coat. And that is just so that if you apply too much, the paint doesn't absorb it and it doesn't look too blotchy. So um, now that we have the clear wax on the bottom, I'm going to put the black wax on top. And if I think I got the black wax too heavy, I can use the clear wax as an eraser, which is a cool, a cool feature if you don't want it too dark. And if you're not familiar <laughs> with the products and how dark it can be. I've had, um, <laughs> I get many phone calls about, ah, it went on too dark, what do I do? <laughs> so you can use clear wax as an eraser, which is a great little tip. And also, if you're if it's the first time using like the dark wax, the black wax, we do recommend you try it out on like a smaller piece first, just till you get the feel of it. Or if you put the um, layer of top coat down first, then that'll help you pull back some of the color if you got it too dark. You have to remember the ABC paint because it's clay paint, it absorbs um, whatever would touch it. So that's why the sealing process is an important one. I have also had people call and ask, um, do you need a sealer for the paint? If it's going to be touched a lot, the oils from your hands can leave spots on it. And like if you were to put like um, a mug on there or if it got water drops, it'll just stain your piece. So we do recommend that you seal all your pieces. If it's a home decor piece that's like a frame or something and it's up on the wall, 
that's a different story because no one's really touching it, right? But if it's like your kitchen table or your dresser, that sort of thing, you need a sealer. So I don't know if you can tell just how this black wax is just darkening the color of Vixen and it's making it more of like a rich, deep, um, maroon type color. Oh, I love it. And then once I get it all on, then I do the same thing as distressing, stand back, see what it needs, and then you can just keep layering the wax as you go. Mm, really, really liking this combo. The gold with the vixen and the black wax. Wow. <laughs> so many color combos that you can do. And it's amazing how the black wax does change the look of the color. I mean, we started off with this and now, and now it has like this dark, it's just darker. <laughs> I love it. So that's it. We're all done for today. That was a quick and fun project. And I hope you make time today to create.